Good morning to you all. Neither Iran nor any other hostile actor should mistake U.S. prudence and discretion for weakness. No one has granted them a hunting license in the Middle East. As President Trump said on Friday, our military is rebuilt, new, and ready to go, by far the best in the world. Sanctions are biting, and more added last night. Iran can never have nuclear weapons, not against the USA and not against the world. And as he made clear yesterday, referring to his earlier remarks, the President said, I just stri stopped the strike from going forward at this time. We expect that the new sanctions President Trump referred to in preparation for some weeks will be announced publicly on Monday. Stay tuned. We can expect that uh, this dialogue will be fruitful. I'm confident that it's possible. Threats to international peace and security in the Middle East and around the world are on the rise. Iran's continued pursuit of nuclear weapons, its threats to exceed the limits set in the failed Iran nuclear deal in the coming days, its continuing buildup of menacing Quds Force capabilities in Syria and Iraq, its supply of sophisticated drones, missiles, and other advanced weapons to hostile surrogate forces in Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, Yemen, and Afghanistan, and its continued threats and acts of aggression against Israel, our allies in the Arabian Gulf, and against U.S. personnel and assets across the Middle East are not signs of a nation seeking peace. Well before Iran's act of aggression of recent weeks, such as the attacks on oil tankers and the downing of an American drone, Iranian forces fired dozens of rockets into Israeli territories and flew drones into Israeli airspace. Iran also fired rockets deep into Saudi Arabia and through their proxies endangered international shipping lanes. This is all months and years ago. After the deal, but before recent events, Iran has been in a campaign of aggression. Those who describe the recent actions as somehow opening a hornet's nest are living on another planet. In fact, the one thing that has changed for those of us who live in the Middle East is not that Iran is attacking its neighbors or brazenly perpetrating wanton aggression. What's new is that now, thanks to crippling American sanctions, Iran is facing unprecedented economic pressure as a result of its aggression. So I was pleased to hear President Trump make clear yesterday that pressure will continue and that pressure will increase. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Prime Minister, what's your comment on the first part of the buffet? 